In the glittering world of the Chinese entertainment industry, the lives of celebrities are far from ordinary. Beyond the red carpets and adoring fans lie a series of unique challenges and strict rules they have to follow. For example, they need to monitor their weight and how they look at all times. Just like in other countries the entertainment industry in China is pro-skinny and netizens are known to be critical of any and all weight gain. So in essence, the thinner the celeb the bigger the appeal and popularity. This is why many actors spend a lot of time on diet and exercise. An actress known for being super thin, Fan Bingbing documented her seven-day fasting regime in 2022 which she says was for her upcoming work. She only drank flavored water and performed light exercise including hot yoga and walking and lost 6 kilograms in seven days. Actor Huang Xiaoming had to lose 15 kilograms for his movie, A Cover Up, a crime thriller that sees a taxi driver's life change completely after he meets a drunk man while working the night shift. He could only manage 12 kilograms but even that 12 had him looking gaunt and sickly. When asked what he ate on his diet he said, for breakfast, fresh air. For lunch, pure water. For dinner, gentle moonlight. You know, basically saying that he doesn't eat anything at all. While actors can gain weight for roles, the minute filming concludes, the said actor has to go back to their normal weight if they want to escape the fat shaming. While filming Winter Begonia, Yin Jin gained 6 kilograms because the character he portrayed was someone who loved to eat. He even posted on his Weibo, saying, It's over, I think I was a disaster with the role of Shang Shirui, I'm too fat and ugly. What is to be done? I'll be scolded when the show airs. With that he went on a diet and shared his meals with his fans until he lost all the extra weight. They have to control their public image. Chinese celebrities often have teams of publicists and agents who carefully manage their public image. They control the information that is released to the public and work to maintain a positive perception. Even the government encourages them to act with morality in both public and private. The president of China's advertising association, Zhang Guohua, said those who had enjoyed the benefits of being a public figure should prepare to be restrained in their actions because of their influence as role models. Hence any model who is deemed as immoral is punished severely. Li Yifeng was cancelled in 2022. Li, who was then representing Prada, Peng Rai, Remy Martin, and more, was arrested by the Beijing police on charges of soliciting prostitution on multiple occasions. According to the Weibo post from the Beijing Municipal Public Security Bureau, the 35-year-old had admitted to the crime. In the aftermath, a dozen companies, both domestic and international had cut ties, including Prada, Payne Rai and Luck Fook Jewelry. Disgraced Chinese actress Xing Shuang saw her career come to a halt last year after it was revealed that she had abandoned her kids, whom she had via surrogacy, which is illegal in China, with her ex-boyfriend in the US. This morality also includes not using their names to promote bad ideas. Actress Jing Tian was slapped with a 7.22 million yuan fine for breaching the nation's advertising law by touting candies as a weight loss drug and was banned her from any more brand deals for the next three years. They have to appear single. While there is no rule against being in relationships, actors have to appear available to please fans. Fans play a huge role in the success or downfall of an actor and many of them want their celebs single, after all they spend their money, time and energy on their favorite stars. As a result many celebrities just don't date. For those that date, they just keep it hidden from the public. And for good reason. Some fans get angry when they find out that their idols or biases are in a relationship. Sometimes the backlash gets too much that it turns into harassment. While not all fans are like this, some celebrities prefer to play it safe by being as secretive about their relationships as possible. It was widely known that members of K-pop group EXO can't date, so imagine the uproar when band member Lu Han announced his girlfriend in 2017. The announcement sent Weibo into overdrive, with traffic soaring to record levels, it literally crashed for almost two hours. Some fans reacted badly to the news, breaking down and even being taken to hospital. While some unfollowed him, others reportedly tried to commit suicide. Of course, with time people had no choice but to accept it but things like this can be intense, so celebs try to avoid this at all costs. But not every celebrity is secretly dating. Some just prefer not to be in a relationship at all. Plus, many celebrities have hectic schedules and little free time to maintain relationships. However in other cases relationships have led to the downfall of some celebrities. 
In August 2021, Henry Hu's ex-girlfriend Chen Lu accused him of cheating on her throughout their relationship. Later, Chen Lu, the girlfriend, also exposed Hu's distaste for reality television. On August 14, Hu issued a notice of withdrawal from the entertainment industry. Because of the controversy, his online fan groups were shut down, and his Weibo account was disabled. But later on, Chen Lu was arrested by police for extorting money from Hua. But the damage had already been done. The use of illegal substances is prohibited. In the event that they do drugs and get caught, they will not only face jail time but their careers will be wiped out. Celebrities who have been caught violating the no-drug rule were blacklisted and never regained their past glory let alone work in the industry again. For the others who come back the dark cloud never really goes away. The producers of one of 2023's biggest dramas The Knockout had to delete all of Han Zhao's scenes after netizens complained about a supporting actor's 2009 drug charge. In 2016 a film producer demanded actors take drug tests before shooting begins after a media watchdog banned stars who are involved with drugs or prostitution. Chinese actors Liu Guanxiang and Luo Yunxi who were shooting the comedy guys and a kid, posted online physical examination charts showing results of drug tests, saying it is the first time such requirements have been ordered in their careers. Producer Zhang Junhan said tests from all cast and crew members are required to prevent risks to investors. Millions are invested in a film and if actors are involved in illegal affairs, the investors take all the risks, Zhang told a local publication. He said according to a clause in contracts signed by the actors, they must return double what they are paid for the film if found to be using drugs. Many celebrities have been caught in China's anti-drug crackdown. Chinese actor Wang Xuebing, star of the 2014 Golden Bear winning film Black Coal, Thin Ice was arrested on charges of drug abuse. Another high-profile case involved son of Chinese Kung Fu star Jackie Chan, J.C. Chan, who was sentenced to six months in prison for drug offenses in 2014. He made a comeback in Taiwan but is still banned from working in mainland China. They should stay away from controversial topics. Celebrities are generally advised to avoid discussing sensitive topics such as politics, religion, and social issues. Chinese celebrities are expected to demonstrate loyalty to the Chinese Communist Party and adhere to the party's ideologies. They are discouraged from expressing opinions that challenge or criticize the government. In 2021, Zhang Zhihan faced severe criticism in China after being involved in a controversy over photos taken years earlier in Japan at a spot near the Yasukuni Shrine and Nogi Shrine due to the shrine's honoring of Imperial Japanese military officers who invaded China. This criticism resulted in the removal of his online accounts, TV work and being dropped by 27 brands as ambassador. So rather than losing their livelihoods and getting banned many actors don't comment on controversial topics. Jackie Chan, who performed at a concert in Hong Kong to support pro-democracy protesters in Tiananmen Square in 1989, was asked about Hong Kong protests during an album promotion in Taiwan recently said, I don't know anything about it, said Chan, who over the years has become known for his pro-Beijing stance. Do you think these rules are too much? Share your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.